previously when I was younger, I had this habit of trying to always fix things, people, situations, friends, family. And it's probably stemmed from trying to fix my own insecurities. I've always tried to trying to address and always work on myself. And when I, I guess when I saw fault in others, it had a two-way effect of reflecting my own fault within them. So I'd see their fault within reflecting me. And so seeing that fault, seeing that negative trait that I perceived uh, made me feel ill of myself and of the other. And I had this kind of approach to try and fix things to make it, I'm quite high in orderliness and industry industriousness. And so I've been like that for years since I was probably 14, 15. And I guess through these character traits, I would try and uh, force them on other people. And oftentimes it didn't work well. And so I, if there's one thing I'd tell my younger self, you know, people always ask this question. I would tell my younger self that you don't need to fix everyone. In fact, you probably don't need to fix anyone except yourself because you're the most broken. And by fixing yourself, which is the most broken, you help bring together other people by your very being, just by just by being. Now I've kind of learnt through many uh, conflicts and through many situations and opportunities that people tell me hey sometimes people just want to talk some people just want to be heard and you don't need to respond with an answer and with a solution that's what I tell my younger self and I think that's one of the biggest problems of uh, young men is that they always try and fix especially they try and fix the females plight the females problem the females or whoever you whether you it doesn't matter who you're with it's kind of one person generally has the disposition to always try and fix the other and and, and help the other i don't want you to feel this pain and suffering let me try and help you no they have to go through that that's not your problem to fix that's not your problem to fix that's theirs all you all you should be there to do is to support in case they fall down the chasm and they, they put their hands out. They have to put their hands out. If they're not putting their hands out to help, then maybe sometimes you should just let them be. And that's a very hard thing to think about, that you should just let people suffer and in pain, even those as close to you as a, as a, as a partner or as a, as a wife or a husband, as a family member, a dad, a, hus a brother, a sister. You have to sometimes, though, and it's the hardest thing.